at one point, every fighter was undefeated. They felt indestructible. They feel like they can't lose. You've been in that position, and now it's your job to put him in that position. And what is it about fighters when they do feel indestructible that that's where you can kind of take advantage yeah. of? Yeah. I've been there. The the the, bad, the beautiful thing you were, I was right there, not with that crazy hype, but I had a lot of hype, and uh, I lost. I do believe I had nine finishes, one decision, and a lot of first round finishes. If I'm not wrong, I had nine first round, fin eight first round finishes, one third round finish, and one decision, and. Uh, Oh, I got beat. I got beat by a Russian guy, Rashid Magomedov. Learned so much, but I, my ego was kind of because of that confidence that you have, untouchable, undefeated. It kind of, if you don't be aware, it goes a little bit to your ego. It goes to a little wrong way that you feel that man, that guy can do nothing. And I didn't respect. I kind of. That happened a couple of times in my career. Even going to the Camaro fight, my ego would take over a little, little bit. I thought I was gonna run through Camaro. And I trained the guys a couple of times and I had a lot of tough sessions. I won couples, I lost couples. But I know how smart he is, but I was so confident. It wasn't forced, you know. It was a thing that that kind of happened, and I, I, I remember, I, I remember a couple of times, like I don't even remember the age, but I remember uh, like five, maybe six years old, coming back home and uh, was no lights, no money to pay the lights. The company just came and cut the lights. And, uh, and I hated that thing. Like, we're still happy, we still make a lot of things. We got candles everywhere, you know, making food. I don't know how, but my mom was always taking care. But it was just the feeling of not having that control, like not having the money, the, the things. It just brought me hungry, like, it's not gonna be like that, you know? I cannot, I cannot let that happen, that keep happening, you know, and then I gotta do something about it. it was just, and kind of born inside of me that, like, the hard work, kind of hard work mentality, like, man, I'm not gonna let that happen to my kids. One, two, three, four, five, up, one, two, three, money. What's going through my mind during a fight, during a hard training, I gotta first, I gotta mentally prepare to that. So how I like to get prepared, I like to kind of calm my mind. I don't want to be busy thinking, oh, I gotta do this. I, no, I, gotta, I gotta get to a point that I, I'm quiet. I have a good head space. And uh, I talk to myself during all that thing. I, I start talking to myself. That, that's my, if I, for sure it's a little water techniques, I do a lot of things that, I ha that, that, that help, but I talk myself through it. And uh, it, on the fight too, I gotta, that's why the head space is so important. I cannot, I cannot have a lot of things on my head. My head gotta be nice and quiet because I'm gonna talk to myself. This month marks four and a half years working with Gilbert. Uh, we've gone through everything from the Gunnar Nelson fight, Damian Maya fight, T. Wood fight, Usman fight, seen the ups, the downs, the Dan Hooker fight. And uh, one thing I can definitely tell you about Gilbert is even whether it's a win or a loss, he always comes out with a smile on his face. And uh, we've been very lucky to avoid any big injuries. And uh, he always learns from every single opportunity. So it's always been a pleasure working with him. Tomorrow is hell. Tomorrow is freaking... The fight. Fight cardio. Like... Tomorrow's a fight. Tomorrow's the fight. I don't have a lot of weight. What weight? I don't have no weights from No, we have, have weight. We have no weight. The only, uh, the bag, the bag. That's it. Cutting weight time, shit. Remember 55? 155. 
What? No, 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 no. Back then was hard. Now I still I still cut in weight. Like I woke up when it was 191 today, so still got weight to cut. Nothing compared. Like freaking. I think I'm gonna cut 10 to 12 pounds on the week. Nothing more than that. And that's kind of health, you know. That that's my sweat. I sweat so much. But back then, shit, I was cutting 20 pounds, 20, over 20 pounds in a couple of days, so no. But that was a good force to it, like mentally, I knew I was gonna make it, you know, so that, that's the only good thing that I take, <laughs> that I take from the weight cut, was the ability to don't quit. I'm, I know it's gonna be tough, I know it's gonna freaking hurt, but I'm gonna do it anyways. That's the only, not only, that's a very huge thing that I took from those weight cuts. If you remember, I was cutting a lot and I never missed the weight. I never asked to, hey, let's do a catch weight or like, oh, I cannot make no more. I always made it. <laughs> it, paid, it paid out a couple of fights that I, I didn't did the best cut. I lost a couple of these fights, but I think the benefit was the the mentality that I got going to the wake I know I'm going to make it, so there's no, there's no other option. I'm going to make it whatever, whatever it takes. I like that mentality. You know, I still, still have a lot of that. You know, it's a mentality to become a champion, to do more, to, to be hungry, to do that type of stuff. And you see a couple guys, I, I don't know, it's the drive. They, they're super happy. The goal, the dream is to be in the UFC. So they make the dream. That's it. But the way I see is, bro, now that you make to the UFC, now, now that see, now, now you're done. Now you should be freaking more than before, you know, but it is what it is. Couple guys, I think a couple guys had a different journey. Like, Khabib had a one journey. Kamaru has another journey. I have a different journey. This guy had that journey. Chandler has that, that journey. So everybody's different. So... Uh, a couple guys, like I said, a couple guys got to make a ton of mistakes to, to get in the right path. A couple guys, freaking Khabib, he never lost. Like, the way I see the guy, for sure he got his dad, a couple, a lot of, you know, a lot of teammates, a lot of family around to kind of build the guy to that. But I I had to have a couple losses on my on my career. And, I'm, and I take those losses the most humble way I had. Now I'm very grateful for every single loss that I had because the learning that I had was priceless. Like I, I learned so much in every loss that I had that I'm like, okay, that was my journey, you know, I accept and I'm grateful for it. But everyone has a different journey, a different goal, a different dream. And those guys, they, sometimes they satisfy, they're too happy just to be in the UFC. About to get cold right now. I love how people just be so nosy when they see a camera. Right? They get crazy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax. Oh, who is this guy? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Usually, how long is these sessions? Three minutes only. <laughs> Can you see the temperature, how low that thing goes? How low it goes now? Negative 210, 215. Negative 210. No joke. You can do it. No, I know I can do it. But this is gold. No joke. Honestly, it just takes a lot of that soreness out of the joints. It takes a lot of that lactic acid out of the joints. It actually helps to repair the skin tissue, uh, builds collagen, helps that collagen production, um, and it actually helps that fight or flight. Um, instinct and so it kind of like takes that stress off the body very quickly and gives them that adrenaline rush and kind of sets back that um, state where homeostasis is a little bit more balanced to the, to the body so it's, it works pretty quickly in that three minutes. That's crazy. <laughs> We're at negative what, 200 or something, right? Minus 210. Did it, you got there. <laughs> Now I'll get that ready for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Like, excuse me. <laughs> about how far in does it is really mental? Then it becomes super mental. 
the 30 seconds, first 30 seconds are easy. First 30 seconds are easy. When that gets to one minute, it goes, it, I for sure drops, the temperature drops some more, and then, like, oh shit. Oh shit, it's getting cold. chamber I'm working to get one I supposed to get one already my guy Akina said he's gonna give one to me go all set it up but I never get it so <laughs> still gotta come here and do it and I do two times a week at least especially in the training camp just to get the helping the oxygen the recovery and little injuries Mentally too, I get out of my phone. Or sometimes I go like today I'm going in, I'm going to watch sports, my sports session from yesterday. That's when I'm going to be watching it. All my sports from yesterday. Through the last, let's say, three to four years, I, I build a team around me with my strength conditioning, with my therapist, with my psychologist. You know, I hire a couple guys, a wrestler, this and that. You know, I'm trying to get better and uh, make sure mentally I'm uh, I'm giving okay in every single box. You know, like wrestling, okay, getting better, I got this. Boxing, getting better, I got this. Kickboxing, jujitsu, uh, mentally, physically, recovery, eating. Like hire a very good nutritionist working with me, Brazilian guy. Uh, and try to build, building all that team around me, make sure I check all, every single box. So today was a little bit strength conditioning, now a lot of recovery, still a couple things to get done, and two more, <laughs> two more is gonna be a war, and then two more we do it again. We're gonna do another cryo, two more, then the therapy, after, you know, make sure the whole body's feeling good, everything is good, good food, a lot of water, and trying to keep that best every, every, every freaking day. Well, when they come out of it, he's going to feel refreshed. He's going to get hyper-oxygenated this whole time he's in there. His tissues are going to feel better. He's just going to feel refreshed. All right, how was it? It was good. <laughs> <laughs> you fall asleep in there? A little bit. <laughs> uh, boom. New. <laughs> the keys, I got it. Whenever I found that 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 happened with the Kamara fight, I gotta go back to who I am, you know, and I know who I am. I know how hard I work. Like your first question, I know how much I I grow through the years, how much how far I have come. So I know all that. I know the, the importance of my team, who matters, my strength conditioning, my psychology, my stand for these guys that are with me. My family, you know, my wife, my kids, my parents, my brother. That's it. That's that's my team. That's my family. The other things, what people think about me, it doesn't matter. So yeah, blood test, eye, physical, psychologist, rest, and go to war tomorrow with the circuit. It's gonna be good stuff. Don't miss it. My boy, my boy is yeah. smooth. He'd give my dad a fade, but he doesn't want to grow out the hair. I'm faded. I'm permanently <laughs> faded. faded. I'm, pa I'm faded he's, permanently. He's already faded. Uh, man, he's running on Brazilian time, you know what I'm saying? That man, stay running on Brazilian time. You know it's bad when you got the white socks. Oh, you brought the crew. <laughs> you brought the crew. It's cool. up and find out. Oh, yeah, bro. Oh, shit. Shit. It's going to be tough. It's cool. We were, Rui and I was just talking. He, I mean, if you graze them, just graze them. Let them do that, that stiff ass dance, that chicken dance like this in front of, you know, 
in front of Joe Rogan, in front of everybody who's talk shit, you know? Okay? He's human, baby. He's human. What's the main focus? Winning that fight, right? Stay focused as you're doing your stuff. Always be in the moment. Be in the moment. Just stick to that, bro. Gilbert smile right before or even after the guillotine. If you take his head after a guillotine chop, it'll be smiling just like that. <laughs> Focus is everything. Dale, Pablo. Muy bien. Muy bien. Muy bien. Estás listo. Estás listo. This is the I fight. Mean, the, more, more, more the, like the, that. Fight, the fight is not going to be like this. Next you know it. The mind is everything. The body, we, we exert so much energy on a day-to-day -day basis from grinding every single day. And we tend to focus more on the grinding rather than our mind. Our mind is everything, you know? And that's why you can have these guys that come in to these fights with about one day's notice, one week's notice, and they can come in and, and, do, and do their thing and win because their mind is ready. They know what they want. They're hungry. So I'm just constantly reminding Gil, man, like, his body's ready. Like, this guy's been putting in work. Is the best we've ever seen him. So just relax with your mind, you know? Relax the mind, know what you need to do, and go after it. And that's it. And he's gonna, he's gonna do great. I have no doubt. I think everyone is very good, very tough to be top 10, top 15. Everyone technically is very good. For sure, a couple of guys better here, better there, changing. These guys are more striking, these guys are more wrestling. For sure, 100% is mentally. 100%. People say, oh, whenever you go to a fight, it's 90%. No, it's not 90%. It's not. It's 100% mentally. We know a couple guys. We talk about a couple guys. they freaking a monster at the gym. And they go to the UFC, they don't freaking get the second contract. It's only, it's only mentally. It's, it's what self-belief, self-confidence, preparation, being there, visualization, be there a couple of times, put yourself in a bad position, fight for it, keep going. Whenever the freaking lights are on, cameras on you, you just to keep doing the same thing. It, it, it's a lot of pressure, it's a lot of, to become a champion, to be on the freaking top of the top, 
you gotta check so much box training, stand up, strength conditioning, physical therapy, this, that, mental, mental like dealing with pressure, dealing with this, adversity, this, it's so many things that I don't think a lot of guys can can check all of that. That's why it's gonna be freaking one guy undefeated like Khabib. One guy like Adesanya, one guy like Camaro, one guy like Aldo, it's, it's not going to be many guys like that because to be able to reach mentally, like like mentally, the highest level, you got to go through a lot of shit. Hey, let's go first and Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> bike, let's go bike. See, you got to give... Medicine to the doctors now. They gotta, they gotta feel their own medicine. Let's go. Versa now. It's the house, no? Bruna Burns, the chef, there she is. We're gonna see on the grill in here. And my dad, Bruce Fernando. I'm gonna see Will Harris, Will. And then look at the kids. Look at these little ones. They're not little no more. Pedro, say hi to him. Hi. Hi, he's so addicted in Joshua. Say hi. Hi. How old were you when you first had your, your first kid? You know, I'm 35, turning 36. Pedro's nine. Freaking almost 10 years ago. I was 25. I was 26, yeah, when Bruno got pregnant in Brazil. And then when he was six months, we moved here. I was here before. I was back and forth in the Black Zealand training. And then she got pregnant, and then we decided to move here. It was very crazy where we used to live. Literally, a lot of a uh, 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 crackhead thing, you know, they were selling crack very, very bad. And then whenever she was pregnant, and I saw a lot of crackhead walking, and said, No way, my, my kids are gonna grow up here, you know. And then we decided to move. We always move. Before he born, but was the first born, so we need a lot of help. We didn't know, and then we wait for him to born in Brazil. When he was six months, we moved here. Did you see the odds that came out on the fight? He's a no. minus minus four hundred and twenty five favorite over Gilbert against Burns. Gilbert Burns. Against Gilbert Burns, he's a minus. Now, I said today on Twitter, I think he's an incredible prospect, incredible talent, monster. But man, it just seems like, are people just, I mean, Gilbert Burns is a monster himself. He's a, he's a freaking former title contender. And the only guy that's beaten him in the last like four years is, is Kamar Usman. But I don't know, you know, DC, I know, I know you've raved about Hamzat. Is this, is this the guy? Is this the, the, the guy who's gonna, you, you, you identified Islam saying he's gonna be the guy lightweight. Is Hamzat gonna be the guy welterweight? Is he gonna be the guy to dethrone Kamar Usman? Oh. The only important opinions at that night is my coach there, there, my team and my family. That's it. And I got the other question. I was doing an interview with Luke Tom and they said, why you want the media to say it on Sunday? Let's say best scenario, beating him. What is the media say? Shit, I don't care. Like to be honest, I don't I don't wanna be I want my wife and my kids, daddy was super proud of you for so hard, you won't. Freaking, you lost, but she, you know, you give your best. We're proud of you. That's what I want to hear. My coach saying the same thing. Hey, you did everything. You returned. You executed. That was perfect, man. We're so happy. That's it. I think he's the scariest contender we have seen for a while. And look, the odds may seem high, but when you look at the odds, you ask yourself, do you believe he wins? Maybe he doesn't dominate. Maybe you know. But, but at the end of it, do you think he wins the fight against Gilbert Burns? Playing on my head is played a doubt on him. Hey, look, you're too strong, but 
strong you know everything look you good wrestler but i can grapple i can get back up on my feet you strong but i'm strong too i'm smart too you know and that's the same approach that i want to that i want to take and i believe i will take in this fight <laughs>